Welcome back to the How to Wiz IQ series. This is the 200 series basic training and it's actually number 201 scheduling a meeting or a class. Okay, so here's our home page and these are about the only tabs you ever need. Let's go to teach schedule a class. Today we're going to create a very simple private class. Um, simple class. Okay, and the simplest way is to do it right now. So we're just going to tell it to, I want to start a class right now. The next video we'll talk about a little bit more. So it puts all that information in for us. We don't have to deal with it. Now, um, while we're here though, notice that it shows us Eastern Standard Time. That's my time zone. You can change that and um, make it in your own time zone, but everyone will get it in their own time zone. We can put in three keywords. Let's say this is English, um, ESL, and let's put in games. Now we can put a simple, um, this is a quick tutorial for learning to use Wiz IQ. That's almost all we have to do. Now, we go down here below. This is not in yours. This is because I'm part of the EduPunk and we have an organizational account, so you don't need to worry about that. Now you can choose public or private. Right now we're doing private. <coughs> that means that it will not show up on the Wiz IQ um, class rosters, but it also means that you can do it right now. You don't have to wait. If we chose public, you'd have to wait at least 24 hours, and if you're just starting, sometimes longer. Whether you want to record it or not, that's up to you. And then allowing the attendees to enter class without sign up. Now, this is for if you have a paid account, and um, I always like to make it yes. And that's all we have to do. Now, let's see what that did. Boom, just that fast it's done. Now, <clears throat> we have some choices. We can get the class link, because this is private, not too many people are going to get it, so I'll grab that class link, I'll copy it, and I will put it in an email. Let's send it to me, and I'll put class, I might put some more information in, and I put that link in. I can put that link in a blog posting. I can put it in a um, anywhere I want. That link will work for anyone. All right, let's get back to our class information page. Oh, look, we can add it to our Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar. We can also post it directly to Facebook, Twitter, and I don't know what that one is. If you have groups that have signed up with you and people that connect with you, you can send that to people, your contacts. Now, um, many people when they start out, they send all their classes to everybody and truthfully, I uncontact people when they start sending me every single class. It's a hard thing to figure out how to use that. We'll be discussing that at some later point in time, maybe in the 300 series, but just um, use these things carefully. I think I do want you to notice though while we're here is that um, we can, if we want to send, I want to send it to two people, okay? And then before I do that, I can change the message. So they send a standard message. We can change both the subject line and the message. And then you simply send invite. Now I'm going to cancel that because I don't want those people coming to a class that isn't real. And that just about finishes it up. I'd like you to notice that you have the ability to change other things, the class information, our class description. Uh, we can, after the class is over, we can look at comments and feedback. We can also change the class time and it automatically notifies everybody. And we can cancel the class. So that's it for the simple private class setup. Uh, next one will be a little bit more advanced. That's it. Bye-bye.